Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon for latest updates. Also download our free Android app FinCalci to calculate income taxes and track on monthly basis. Hey what is going on everybody? Welcome to another video in which we are going to see how recurring deposit works and how we can calculate the interest earned on recurring deposits with the help of an example. So let's get started with this video. Recurring deposit is a savings scheme that allows you to accumulate some predefined amount periodically and receive the sum along with the interest earned at the end of the tenure. This means that you save some principal amount every month and you receive the total of this principal amount and the interest earned at the end of the year if the recurring deposit tenure is one year. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's say Raju wants to open a recurring deposit for one year. He goes to his bank or post office and realizes that current interest rate on recurring deposits is 6.9%. So he opens a recurring deposit of principal amount of rupees 5000 on 1st of February 2018 for a period of 1 year. Since the tenure is 1 year, he will receive the sum of his principal amounts which he will be paying every month along with the interest earned on this amounts on 1st of February 2019 which is called as maturity date of recurring deposit. Let's see how Raju will earn interest on his deposits every month. We'll use our free Android app FinCalci, which is a financial calculator app. Since Raju wants to deposit Rs 5000 every month, we'll enter the deposit as 5000, the interest rate is set as 6.9% and we set the start date as 1st of February 2018 and the end date to 1st of February 2019. So after entering the required details, we click on calculate button and we get the total maturity amount along with the principal amounts that we have paid and the interest that we have earned. So as you can see, for the recurring deposit of 1 year, at the rate of 6.9% and the principal amount of Rs 5000, the maturity amount is 62095.43. This means that the total interest that we have earned is Rs 2295.43. And since the principal amount is Rs 5000 that we will be paying every month for a period of 1 year, the total principal amount is Rs 60000. So if we click on this details button, we can see the interest that we have earned for every month. So here comes the important part of how the interest is calculated for the recurring deposits. So as we know, the annual interest rate is 6.9% on this recurring deposit. The interest rate for one day will be 6.9% divided by 365 since there are 365 days in a year. So once we get the interest rate for one day, we can calculate the interest earned on this particular recurring deposit for one day. So we multiply the one day interest rate with the current balance in the recurring deposit and we divide this by 100. So this will give us the interest earned for one day. Now this interest earned we can multiply by the total number of days in that particular month and we get the interest earned on the entire month. So in this way we get the total interest earned for the month of February as Rs 26.47. Similarly, we calculate the interest earned for the month of March and April as Rs 58.6 and Rs 85.07. But guys, we have a very important part that is coming in this recurring deposit calculation process. We have something called as compounding which is done every quarter which is 3 months. So after the 3 months of the recurring deposit, the interest earned on the previous months will be added to the total balance of the recurring deposits. So as you can see, in the month of May, which is the fourth month, the total balance becomes equal to 20,170.14, which comes from the principal amounts that you have paid for the four months, that is February to May. Apart from the principal amounts that you have paid, the interest that you have earned for the month of February, March and April is also added in this fourth month. So this concept is called compounding, in which we gain interest on the interest that we have already earned. So in this way, the compounding happens in every 3 months from the start of the recurring deposits that is the month of May, August, November and February. So that's the way how interest is calculated on the recurring deposits. Also, the compounding comes into picture in every 3 months after the start of the recurring deposit. So download our free Android app FinCalci which is a financial calculator app which will help you to calculate the interest on recurring deposits and many other saving schemes. So that's it in this video, subscribe to this channel, like and share this video. Stay tuned 